Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for Minitab. This screencast gives a brief introduction to Minitab version 17. When you first open Minitab, the screen will look as follows. You will find the screen is split into two windows. The top window is the session window, where the results will appear after your analysis. The bottom window looks like a spreadsheet, but with one difference, in that data from a sample of population must appear in the same column. This is very sensible as it helps to keep the data and mind in order. You will also see in the bottom left hand corner a minimised project manager window. So let's paste in some data. Column 1 contains the gender of 6 humans. Column 2 their height in centimetres. And column 3 the number of the stadiometer that was used to measure the height. We can use this data directly to do some analysis. But it makes it a lot easier if we give each column a name. To do this click in the cell below the column number and type in the name that you want. In this case, column 1 is gender, column 2 is height, and column 3 is stadiometer. You will also notice that Minitab tries to guess what type of data you are entering. If you look at column C1, you can see the column number has a T appended to it, telling you that Minitab believes this to be text data, which is correct. Column C2 has nothing after it, indicating that Minitab believes this to be numeric data, again correct. Column 3 also has nothing following it. Minitab is telling us that it believes this to be numeric data. But this is not true. We have several stadiometers at the University of Worcester, and each one has a name, so we know which one we're using. So in this case, the 1, 2 and 3 are not numeric data, but name data. I therefore need to inform Minitab to turn column 3 into text. I do this by tracking up to data and click down to change data type on the submenu that appears and across to numeric to text on the submenu that appears and click. The cursor is flashing in the changed numeric column and Minitab has told me which two columns it believes to be numeric, C2 and C3. I'm going to select stadiometer and then go down and click the selection button to put it into the change numeric column. I now have to tell Minitab which column to store it in. I wish to store it in the same column it is in at the moment. So I'm going to select C3 stadiometer and press the selection button. I can now press OK. We can now see that the column heading C3 has a T appended to it and the position of the data has moved to the left hand side of the column as you would expect from formatted text. If I want to save my data I track up to file and click down to save project and click the window opens. I now track down to file name and give my data a sensible name. Minitab will store this with the file extension MPJ which is Minitab's own data format. We now track over and click save. We are now ready to do our analysis. If you track up to the menu bar you'll see that Minitab has many options. But by using the research method for the biosciences book, the web walkthroughs and my screencasts, we will guide you through doing the appropriate analysis for your data.